I'd like to thank you guys for staying off your phones this long. I know it's hard. There's so many things on them, right? You can get on the internet, you can record a video. I still think they can put a couple more things. I think they can put like a taser. I think that will help girls out a lot. I don't know, but maybe not. You girls use your phone a lot. You probably just taste the shit out of yourselves all the time. Accidentally hit the wrong app and you get in the car. Hello? Ah! You're like, you over your minutes? How can you tell? Bird marks on the side of your face, woman? <laughs> girls will over you. They'll use it. They'll, they'll just start tasting guys unnecessarily for hitting on them because they don't want to deal with it. They're like, hey, girl, are you going to be out there? It's like, what's up, baby? You looking good. Hold on. <laughs> no, it's some asshole was looking on me. Now he's on the floor here twitching. Oh, hold on, girl. He got some ugly shoes, too. I could really use uh, an app for a scale on this. Because sometimes I'm at my dealer's house. And I know I'm a grand short, you know? I'd like to know that shit right away. One thing I hate about the phones is the pictures. Remember the good old days when people get their pictures at home in a photo album? That when they were with somewhere, they were like, yo, you gotta see the pictures. You're like, hell yeah, because you know you didn't have to see the pictures. <laughs> now you gotta see them, and there's thousands of them. They make you see them. They like raping your eyes with it. Like, look at this one, look at this one, look at this one. <laughs> and they're, they're just, it's just so accessible. They're not even pictures of anywhere fun. It's like TGI Fridays or Chili's. You know? There's 17 pictures with their waiter, Brian, with their appetizers like this. You should have met Brian, he was special. I don't give a fuck about Brian. I used to keep in a picture somewhere still. Some people give you pictures on themselves. I was talking about a guy about, to, about his kid. He was like, yo, you want to see a picture of my kid? And he lifted his shirt and his baby tattooed on him. And I was like, whatever happened to going to Sears? I'm getting a wallet size photo that you can hand to me and I can hand back. I've got to massage your arm. You don't got to risk hepatitis C to show you're a good parent. <laughs> what do you need your kid tattooed on you for? Do you forget about them? <laughs> when you drive around, that's what people lay on child support. They're like, oh shit, it's time to pay for Chuck, isn't it? <laughs> Some people get out of control. I was in a park to play basketball. This guy without a shirt, he had a group of people on his back. I thought he was religious. I was like, yo, is that the last supper? <laughs> He's like, no, it's a family reunion. And when I flex my shoulder blades, my two bones You guys text and drive? Wow, some enthusiasts. How come always texting and driving always still feels safer when you're doing it? Right? You're always like, no, I got this. And then you look up at the back of a semi, you're like, oh shit. And the LOL almost killed me. You can tell how dangerous it is when you watch somebody else. Like, I was driving with my friend cross country, he's in the driver's side on your back side. He got the phone, he got a flip out with his both hands. So he's like this. And he's driving stick, right? So he's like, and he's smoking a bowl, right? Yeah, so he's like, Right, one of them was like, no, it's 
other one is like going skate on. Uh -uh. I'm like, fuck you, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Give me a phone, delete my number, don't call me. Because <laughs> we all know it's <laughs> 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 